Mabel Countess of Early. Kerr was home to a countess at one time, and she was Mabel Countess of Early. She came to care with her husband, David, the 11th Earl of Early, who was based in the cavalry barracks in Kilcommon, with his regiment, the 10th Hussars. This regiment was known for its high living standards, and this attracted many of the nobility. These hussars were very much liked by the locals, as they provided a bit of colour and diversion to the life of the town. The regimental band seemingly played on the mall and the laka on Sunday afternoons, and they also played on the lawn of the Swiss cottage, and cricket matches were held between town and barrack teams. Back to Mabel and David. They lived in the mall house, still there, the last in a terrace of Georgian houses beside the river, with a lovely view of Care Castle, a delightful place to live. In later years, Mabel wrote a memoir attached with gold, and a copy of this uh, was in Care Library in the past, but it's no longer there. In this memoir, she describes her years in Care as the most perfect years of her marriage. Her eldest son, David, who was to inherit the title 12th Earl, was born in Cair in 1893. And rumour had it that a lone military piper played outside the door on the day. What a scene, with the castle in the background and the accompanying sound of the river. On their return to England, Mabel became Lady of the Bedchamber or Lady-in-Waiting to Princess Mary, a title she retained when Mary became Queen Mary. And this Queen Mary was grandmother of the present Queen Elizabeth. But even though Mabel lived a life of privilege, it was not without tragedy. Her husband David was killed in 1900 in the Boer War at the Battle of Diamond Hill, and he was only 44. And then some years later, in 1917, her youngest son was killed in action in the First World War. And Mabel herself played a part in the war effort as she supported the Red Cross. This spirited lady was also a champion of women's rights. And before coming to care, she wrote a pamphlet called The Real Right of Women, which still has some relevance today. In her own words, women in these days, conscious of their powers, are anxious to take some part in the work of their country. But turn which way they will, all doors seem closed to them. Surely there is no anomaly in their demand for a more definite recognition of their qualifications to occupy some of these responsible positions which have hitherto been given to men only. Mabel lived to the ripe old age of 90, and she died in London in 1956. Her son David, the 12th Earl, born in Care, in the Mall House, died in 1968 at the age of 75.